Hi Libra, this is a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs if that's the case. And if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. Alright, so let's see. Also do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Let's see, Libra, what is going on? Overall energies for Libra. Okay, so we have mute and we have the answer is no. All right, so I feel like there has been some kind of a fallout maybe. Um, there's a lack of communication or maybe holding back when it comes to communication. Um, could even be blocking, ghosting. I sense something of that sort, all right, in this connection. So if that is not your situation, this might not be your reading. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on here. Well, the Six of Pentacles wanted to show itself, so it could be that there was an uneven exchange of communication, somebody wanting to communicate and somebody else not so willing. see for you we have the Hierophant, the Two of Swords, and Justice. Alright, I feel like you might be very confused about possibly a decision that needs to be made or about a commitment here. Possibly trying to make a decision when it comes to a commitment. Let's see for them. The Devil the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Alright, something's going on here. There's a lot of confusion, I feel, on both ends. I do feel like this person is possibly attached to something else. I don't know if it is, it could be an addiction, it could be um, another toxic situation, or another toxic connection that they're involved with. Um, possibly some codependency here. And I feel like there's just a lot of confusion on their end as well. And I feel like they're waiting. They're waiting for something. Possibly thinking about what to do. But not taking action on this. So I don't know who it is that has withheld communication here. But I'm definitely... I feel like it's on... Right now, I feel like it's on both sides. I feel like you're both holding back from um, engaging with the other person. Let's see what's coming up. We have the Five of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Lovers. And a final message here is the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So definitely some... Somebody here is going against what they really want is what, what I'm getting with this. And because of that, or just really wanting to win, but it could even be some manipulation that's going on here and still kind of coming up. And I feel like this is going to lead to a lot of um, disappointment maybe, but then we have the lovers. So I don't know if that's a twist there or what. We'll see when we clarify. Um, And I do see things possibly getting back on track, at least for you here, all right, with this um, Knight of Pentacles here being the message for you. So let's get into this and see what this is about. If this is another relationship, it could be that um, coming up, somebody's going to be very um, dissatisfied with a relationship that just doesn't um, align with them.
All right, so let's clarify. Let's see the higher hand. All right, the Three of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. All right, okay. So definitely could be a... It could be a third party situation for some of you, all right? Not all of you. Whatever the case though, I feel like actually you, you have been through a lot of pain with this connection, all right? But through that pain, I feel like you have learned a lot. I feel like this Hierophant, it's, it doesn't only represent this commitment or this relationship. Although I do feel like there was something very strong here between the two of you. Um, I'm mostly seeing this as you finally coming into this um, space of having learned. I feel like there was a purpose here with whatever it is that happened, um, no matter... I, don't, I know some of you might not believe that, but... Because you do have this <laughs> tendency when someone, you know... And we all do at, at times. When someone doesn't treat us right, or if we feel like the other person is, you know, making mistakes or whatever, you know, it's easy to just hold resentment and, and feel like it was a waste of time. And I, I'm just seeing here, in this particular reading at least, that that's not the case. There is something that you have gained from this, all right? Whether that be wisdom, resilience, um, learning about yourself, whatever that is. And I feel like that is opening you up to something else or to something new even when it just comes to your own self not necessarily this connection or to another connection let's see the two of swords all right temperance the moon and the page of pentacles so again, I mean, I'm just getting that sense again that it, it feel like you're still you're still learning here. You're still learning a lot about yourself. I feel like you have come a really long way. Um, and at the moment, though, concerning this person, you're just like just not really doing much because you're just working on finding your own inner balance or enjoying that inner balance that you have found. But there's still um, I, I feel like there's just a lot that has been left up in the air that you don't know what is going on. Like you just feel like things are being hidden from you. And of course that would be the case if this person is not is not talking. Um, if they're the ones that are holding back. And I actually, I mean with this answer is no, I feel like, I don't feel like that's just them. I feel like it's you now saying the answer is no. Like I'm saying no to a situation where I'm left in the dark or if I was ghosted, or, you know, if this person doesn't want to talk, well, I'm saying no to that. And so you're, I feel like you're just being very, very patient also with your own self. You may have been very patient with this person, you might still be kind of waiting maybe, but I'm mostly seeing this as you finding that patience within yourself to heal from whatever it is, um, that wounded you in this connection and also focusing on what it is that you are learning or what you have learned, what this has taught you. Let's see justice. All right, the chariot and the knight of cups. I feel like you're moving in the right direction and I feel like you're moving in that direction pretty quickly. And I feel like this is because you're following your heart. You're following your intuition. Even if you do have feelings for this person, um, you know, your heart might be telling you, you know, to keep your distance maybe or to, you know, say no to something here. Whatever it is that you're deciding, whatever the decision is that you're making here, um, if you follow your heart, I feel like that's taking you to the right path and it's taking you there quickly. Let's, let's see what's going on with them. Let me see the devil.
the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. All right, so yeah, I, I, I feel like there's a lot of instability on this person's end. Um, possibly a lot of in and out. I feel like there has been movement, but I feel like this movement is not really based on on their truth because we have the ace of swords and then we have the seven of swords so it's kind of like going back on someone's truth like maybe even saying one thing and then doing another and i don't know if this was done on purpose i don't i don't see it necessarily as being intentional i see a lot of fear attached to this person like i said it, it's either like a codependency or just something toxic that is in their lives and i feel like yeah you know they want to move away from it but they're having a little bit of a hard time escaping it They want to. They want to with that Ace of Swords. They want to take some action on it. Um, but I feel like there's a little bit of, of a back and forth or a hesitation. And it's kind of like when this person does make up their mind, I feel like they do tend to go back. So that's what I mean about the that there's some back and forth here. Let's see the Seven of Cups. Justice again for them though. The Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Alright, well some they're making a decision to bring something to an end here. Um, and I feel like this decision involves a difficult ending, a painful ending from which they, they then will have to heal. And there is some confusion surrounding this. Like they are... I feel like they're they're contemplating on several different um, avenues that they could take to achieve that. So yeah, there is some cloudiness. There's a little bit of fog there in their minds when it comes to making this decision, but ultimately I feel like they're moving towards that. They want to heal whatever this is within themselves. Um, I don't know if it's going to be easy. With that Ten of Swords, I feel like it's not going to be that easy. Let's see the Two of Wands. The Two of Pentacles and the Sun. Yeah, so again, I feel like... Okay, because this is just what's going on now. There's there's a lot of fluctuation. There There's a little bit of a stalling. There's a little bit of a back and forth. Just really trying to manage it because they do want this happiness. Um, so they are trying to manage it, but there's a little bit of procrastination because of the difficulty that is attached to this. I almost feel like this person has lost sight or once in a while loses sight of what, whatever that is that would make them happy. Finding the light um, out of this devil. Almost like, I almost get the sense that they may have been involved with this situation so long that it's almost like forgetting what the sun is like. And it just seems like something in the distance. Um, But yeah, I mean, there is a decision that is being made here. And I don't know if you, if this is in regards to talking with you, I feel like it's a separate thing. And I feel like because of whatever the situation is, this is probably why there's that lack of, of a communication. And I feel like you're saying no to that. Um, it might even be that you have tried to help this person in the past. All right, with that three of pentacles there, you may have tried to help them. Um, and if they weren't being cooperative, you know, now you're just like, all right, well, forget it. So let's see what's coming up. Let me see this five of swords. All right, the five of swords again and death. All right, so there's definitely this ending. See, it's showing up a second time here. Um, this is definitely your person. All right, strength, yeah. So, 
whatever this is that needs to end it is going to require a lot of strength from their end and I do see them doing that and I feel like the five of swords is here because um, yeah you know they're they have been deceiving themselves they have been doing something in order thinking that this is what is um, going to be I, I don't really know how they how they feel it but it's it's coming across like wanting to to win to be on top or at least that's what they thought it would be but it was actually deceptive and I feel like it was deceptive to their own self I feel like they're transforming that now to actually standing up for themselves um, against whatever this energy is and it could even be their own minds all right it could be it, it's it's their own doing whatever it is they're the ones that allowed themselves to be involved in whatever that situation is and I do see them building up that courage in order to put an end to that to the self-sabotage or if they're being deceived by this a situation here a toxic situation I see them putting an end to that but gaining a lot of strength in order to do that it's it's not easy as I said it's gonna it's something that they're gonna have to heal from afterwards let's see the four of cups All right, the Seven of Cups again, and the Five of Cups. So this is them again. This is your person. Um, I feel like they're, I see them opening up a little bit here emotionally, opening up to their emotions. And I feel like there's still some passivity. There's there's still some passivity. There's still some confusion, but they're opening up to their emotions, I feel, as they find that courage to put an end to that manipulation or to that self-sabotage. And it could be both because they could be manipulated and as they allow themselves to be manipulated, like they're they're sabotaging their own their own well-being. Um I see them becoming indifferent a little bit more indifferent to that energy, whatever that devil's energy was. Um, and again, I do think I do see them still contemplating on their options, but opening up emotionally at least. So let me see the lovers. Ooh, the Ten of Cups and the lovers again. Wow. I mean, that just feels very sudden. <laughs> that feels crazy, crazy sudden. Wow. Um, definitely a lot of love showing up here. Yeah, you know, I mean, it could be this person. It could be you. I, I definitely feel like you're involved here for sure. Um, and it could be with this person and it might not be. There's no way of knowing. I do feel like for some of you it is this person because as they're opening up emotionally, see now it makes more sense after seeing the clarifiers, them having that strength to, to put an end and to make a, a change, to transform, that is opening up that door for them to, to open up emotionally and therefore opening up that possibility for a connection here and for happiness. I do see that um, definitely here in the potential. Let's see, I mean, this could be a little bit more distant in the future for some of you. Let's see this Knight of Pentacles as the final message because this does talk about somebody getting on the right path. And I feel like you're already on the right path, so I do feel like this is your person. King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who is standing strong, um, being grounded, being healthy. I mean, the King of Pentacles is, to me at least, it's a very healthy individual, a very healthy person. So I do see that as being somebody who is breaking away from that devil. And slowly, but surely, in a very stable and grounded way, getting back on the right path. So let's, let's get the final oracle message if this was resonating with you. And if it was, please give me a thumbs up. And let's see, Libra. 
And I know I didn't mention your your sign showed up twice here with justice coming up twice. Um, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're glad to take. You're guided to take. So yeah, I, I do see this as it being the, um, your person here or whoever this person is. Making that effort. Making that effort to get back on the right path. So, Libra, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.